So Batman really wants me in? As long as I sign off that you're ready. I guess that means I gotta win. Black Canary is a DC Comics superheroine who has a supersonic scream superpower and incredible fighting skills that are on par, if not better, than Batman. And this version of Black Canary is based on the Injustice video game Injustice Gods Among Us. Black Canary is not in the first Injustice video game, except for one moment where the alternate dimension Green Arrow is looking at a picture of the Black Canary from his home dimension. What do you think, pretty bird? Perfect as always? The reason she is not in the video game is because she was killed by Superman during the second year of the regime's rise to power. But if she is dead, then how come we've seen her in the second Injustice game trailers? I mean, how can she feature in the second Injustice game when she's of course dead and wasn't in the first Injustice game because of this? It can't be you, Dinah. I have the heat vision scars to prove it. Well, although she was mortally wounded by Superman and declared dead by the insurgency, along with the rest of the world as her death was televised worldwide, she did not in fact die. Dr. Fate came on the scene shortly after Black Canary was wounded and Superman had left, and he sees that Black Canary is dying and that it is her fate to die. Then he decides to hell with Fate, though he puts it a little more strongly than that, and decides to save her. So instead of letting her die, he transports Black Canary to another dimension and heals her wounds. He also takes her baby boy with them and leaves them in a dimension and in the home of an Oliver Queen who had just lost his diner, just as Black Canary had lost her green arrow in her home dimension. Even though these are two dimensional duplicates and are the same people as each of the ones that the other has lost, this Black Canary and this green arrow have never actually met, so fate cannot guarantee that they'll be happy, but he wishes them the best and leaves them to it. He also says that he will not be taking her back to the dimension that she is from, as he has already broken too many rules in saving her life. So exactly how she ends up in the Injustice 2 video game is as yet unknown, as the game hasn't been released yet, but that is how she is live to be in the second Injustice game. Obviously though, we can assume that Black Canary will be brought over, along with Green Arrow, to the Injustice universe. So has Bruce ever sat you down for the talk? How young do you think I am? Not that talk, Firestorm. Now, whether this is the version of Black Canary that we're already familiar with, or a different dimension's Black Canary altogether, we will of course have to wait and see. But it is possible for it to be the same Black Canary that it always was from the Injustice universe, as she did not die. Personally, I hope that it's a different version of Black Canary, as the woman from Injustice Dimension has definitely earned the right to retire and raise her child with the man she loves, and I don't really like the idea of her being dragged back into it. As entertaining as it would be to see her come back, the woman deserves some happiness. But what do you think? Do you think that they'll bring the Injustice Universe's Black Canary back, or that the Black Canary we've seen in the trailer so far is from another universe entirely? Be sure to let us know in the comments, and as always, thanks for watching, and feel free to subscribe, share, like, and comment.